There are great rewards for following God in obedience. I think about times in my own life where God asked me to trust him by faith and, and step out and, and do different things. We see this also in scripture when Abraham, God has told him to leave his kinmen and go to a land that he does not know. He also later asked Ag uh, Abraham rather to sacrifice his son, the one of promise. And we see Abraham doing these things in obedience. Now he didn't have to sacrifice his son because the angel steps in, but he was willing. Help us, Lord, on today to be willing to follow through with what you're asking us to sacrifice, where you're asking us to go, but help us to be led of the Lord. We don't want to be deceived, and we ask you to break off any deception from us, anything that's leading us in a direction that you have not called us to, because we want to go by faith, and we know, Lord, that you're a gracious God. You're mighty, and we want to follow you. Forgive us, Lord, for turning a blind eye to what you asked us to do. Forgive us, Father God, for saying no when you asked us to do something that was meant to bless us, that was meant to open doors for us, but we were operating in the fear of man, which is a snare. We didn't trust in you, because those who trust in you will be safe. We ask you, Lord, to forgive us for turning a blind eye to what you have asked us to do, what you intended for us. Help us, Lord, to be obedient to all that you commanded us so that we can save our household like Noah, that we can walk in obedience to you and see great blessings and rewards come forth in our lifetimes in this hour. Help us, Lord, to be obedient by faith. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Now, it's important when we pray those types of things or we talk about that thing that we're rooted and grounded in the word. We don't want to be doing anything willy-nilly, moving across the country over a whim, but really being led of the Lord, of what God is telling us to do. How do you know? He will confirm his word with signs following. You will develop a relationship. I pray for you that you will begin to walk out with God if you're not already, where you hear from him. Anyone can be deceived. So it doesn't mean just because we hear from him, it doesn't mean we won't miss it. But developing a relationship, walking our lives up with God, asking God questions, listening to his response, searching things out with scripture and being open to what God wants to do. It starts with asking God, Lord, come into my heart and be my savior and building a relationship with him day by day because the sheep know the sound of his voice and the voice of a stranger that will not follow. So follow God and you will be successful. Meditate on his law day and night. God is going to open doors for you. No man can close and close doors. No man can open. Be blessed.